Catherine, Betty, and Kenny Samere are only three of the thousands of Pacific women who rely on selling their produce in markets for their livelihoods. In the Pacific, between 75% and 90% of all market vendors are women. Recognizing the importance of markets in the lives of Pacific women, the United Nations Entity for Gender Equality and the Empowerment of Women, known as UN Women, established a project in 2014 called Markets for Change, or M4C. Supported by the Australian Government, the Government of Canada, and in partnership with UNDP, the Markets for Change project addresses four key outcome areas to improve the lives of market vendors in the Pacific. Those key areas included improving the infrastructure of local markets and also to better prepare market vendors for disasters. Through market vendor associations, women were now able to participate in plans for improving their markets. Infrastructure issues that vendors highlighted included having access to clean washrooms, running water, good lighting and ventilation, as well as security. UN Women supported a number of markets by providing upgraded infrastructure, including water tanks, temporary market shelters, and market tables in several locations. But even though the issues and even the solutions were identified, small town councils often lack the ability to make the structural changes necessary. This was again an area where Markets for Change helped. The project assisted local governments with partial funding and helped identify the necessary technical expertise. And so we work with local government authorities on a cost-sharing basis to support improvements in uh, the market infrastructure. This can go from building new sanitation facilities to ensuring that women have accommodation centers where they can sleep safely during the night. Many market vendors travel long distances to the markets from their homes. Many of these trips are expensive, often requiring the women to sell all their produce just to be able to afford the trip back home. For many women, traveling to the market means that they must spend several nights in the market. In Fiji, the project worked with the government of Fiji to build women's accommodation centers for rural women, a practice the project hopes to extend to Solomon Islands and Vanuatu. With the help of the UN Women and of course a partnership with our government, we managed to do a accommodation block for these women. Decisions were made in consultation with these market vendors. Before the Markets for Change project, few of the markets within the project offered accommodation for the women. The women had to sleep overnight under the benches of the market stalls. So time we project and start with them and we make them say we help them. All mama vendors from me have all, all mama we only come all the way from Big Bay. All get all the service to pay the market house and one week extra. From the east, we got enough money to pay bike transport plan and we have to buy home. But staying overnight in unsecured markets presents special concerns for women who are more vulnerable to gender-based violence. Plans to build accommodation facilities began at many of the markets under the project. At Singatoka Market, a new accommodation centre now offers women who travel in from the rural areas a place to sleep during the days they are selling. The Government of Australia provided financial support through UN Women to build five women's accommodation centres in Fiji, plus furnishings for an additional two centres. Despite constraints in both financing and expertise, infrastructure projects in all three countries are in progress. Some are nearing completion while others are just beginning. Vanuatu's markets had other infrastructural concerns, which the project helped address. Even train eight, well, mama is sleep and people are rain. What I run through the train eight, yeah, look all rat, all cockroaches, all come out. Even I full up, me all mama is never sleep more than my One area where all three of the Markets for Change project countries are vulnerable is natural disasters. Whether it is tropical cyclones, earthquakes, tsunamis or torrential rains, these disasters pose a unique challenge for marketplaces. 
In February 2016, the largest Category 5 cyclone ever to make landfall, Cyclone Winston, devastated parts of Fiji, including the Raki Raki market. Through the project partners, the Government of Australia and UN Women provided funding to entirely rebuild Raki Raki market, enabling market vendors once again to earn money for their families. In March 2015, Vanuatu's markets were also devastated by a Category 5 cyclone, Cyclone Pam. New markets now being built are all Category 5 compliant. Apart from structural improvements to help markets withstand cyclones, the project helped draw up plans to assist market vendors and the general public during natural disasters. Trainings were held through the market vendor associations to prepare women for impending disasters and to enable the members to alert other vendors when the time came. Working together with market vendor associations and local governments, the project has helped all three project countries move forward on improvements to their markets. These developments are meant to provide a safer, healthier environment for women while enabling them to earn money for their families. Since the Markets for Change project began, a number of notable milestones have been achieved. Eight markets were renovated and retrofitted to Category 5 cyclone resistance. Five markets supported by M4C now have accommodation centers for rural women. 18 markets now have disaster preparedness and emergency plans. 13 markets received infrastructural support, such as temporary shelters or tents. Pacific markets are becoming a place where women's economic activities are more protected and safer than ever before.